assalamu alaikum class 7 i hope you all are fine and staying at home and taking good care of yourself and at the same time taking precautions for this pandemic so today we are going to write an essay on traffic problems there are a lot of traffic problems we all are facing so it's your time to write about them give your suggestions and talk about them and tell everybody how it can be improved so today's our objectives are identify the traffic problems discuss the reason of current traffic problems form the mind map write an essay with the help of mind map so here we go we are having four questions all you have to do you have to find the answers of these four questions and then you would be able to form a mind map for yourself what types of traffic you observe in your city is it heavy or light how do you feel in per how do you travel in public transport or personal vehicle so in public transport it is a lot of mess and at the same time if you're having a personal vehicle it also takes your time and if you're stuck in the traffic you're like i am in a mess how often do you use public transport it, it could be once in a week twice in a week once or twice in a month or every day mostly people in the city they use public transport because everybody is not ha affording any public vehicle what types of problems do you face while traveling uh, during uh, during journey during your journey we all we all suffer with the traffic problems sometimes drivers are fussy roads are not properly maintained and rules are not being followed and etc etc so look at the photos of uh, look at this photo this photo is having all type of vehicles or the public transport it is there are buses and the motorbikes and then cars and the rickshaws as well so it's so fussy over here it would be a lot of time taking and it's uh, and one could be panicked it's very sweaty to to spend time in a car in a bus all we want to reach to the destination and sometimes and yes i can also see ambulance as well so it's very difficult if you're stuck in the hospital in a traffic you cannot reach to your destination it could be the hospital your house or to the offices on time this is the picture number 2 it's also having every type of the traffic every type of vehicle in it rickshaws cars buses bikes and it's so fussy and messy it happened because someone somewhere created an accident or it could be the they were, didn't follow the traffic rules that's why the traffic stuck there are a lot of traffic problems in so there are some questions to discuss what are the most annoying habit of the drivers i feel like the most annoying annoying habit of the drivers are the smoke annoying sound annoying songs and as sometimes they talk a lot they create a lot of disturbance with the passengers they are rude they don't observe the traffic rules they don't follow the traffic lights they use horn a lot what traffic problems do you does your country face okay in our country i feel like there are a lot of problems like drivers don't know how to drive they don't follow the rules they are not properly trained they don't the the license they are having that is also sometimes expired they don't have license either sometimes what are the reasons for these problems the problems um you have to find the reasons reasons are we didn't follow the rules we break the rules that's how the problem starting we don't respect someone is on the road we always feel that we are on hurry we want to reach our towards our destination so we break the rules that's how problems created or started how can roads be made safer roads roads can be made safer 
by using or by developing a habit to observe the rules and the traffic lights. So, there is a mind map for us. When we are in the traffic jam, we wait for hours. It wastes our time. Seats are not proper, no, no, not proper in the public transport. And it's so tardy. You have nothing to do except sitting on a bus in a mess. Dirty seats, you need proper seats, extreme headache, hot, sweaty atmosphere, annoying sounds, cheap songs, and no rules. So, a traffic jam has all these problems. How will you write an essay? So, you have to write five paragraph essay. The paragraph one will in will be having an introduction. You will write an introductory paragraph. It could be two to three lines or more if you feel like you want to write more. Paragraph number two. You will start the writing problems. In paragraph number two, write the problems you are facing in the in your country and give the details. In paragraph number three, write what are the problems one can face in by using public transport and write the supporting details as well. In paragraph number four, write the public, or oh sorry, personal vehicle and problems and also write its supporting details. In paragraph right, you have to conclude your essay. You have to repeat your ideas. You can give the suggestions over here that what should be done some useful vocabulary to write an essay. Passenger, intersection, seat belt, traffic violation, parking lot, driver's license, lane, a crosswalk, speed limit, a wind screen or sheet, one way street, traffic cones, pedestrian, a traffic, a driving instructor, homes, an engine, a truck, a lorry, carpool, Traffic jam, traffic lights, noise, an indicator, gas, a petrol, smoke, follow up task. All you have to do, you have to write an essay about 150 to 200 words. It's quite easy and simple. And you also have to draw a mind map. First, you will draw the mind map. It will be easy for you to write then an essay. You have to write five paragraphs essay. Remember and keep this thing in your mind. Thank you.